Hi guys, Ken here from Backpacking Light, and today I'm just out here, as you can see, glamping, and we're at Shambalolo Lodge here, uh, just outside of Lusaka, Zambia. It's just a very beautiful, peaceful place, and uh, today I just kind of wanted to give a quick overview of the Locust Gear Kofra HB. And unlike the other Locust Gear uh, equipment, this is made in China instead of Japan, but it's still all the, the best materials they could find and the best techniques and so on to make the tent. The Kofra, what can I say? I've had it in some pretty uh, horrible storms and so on, and it's held up well. We had a couple days, of about four or five days of just really heavy storms here. And in Zambia, the one thing you learn is that when it rains, you know, when we say in Sweden, oh, it's raining. Here, you don't say it's raining. Here, it's just, it just drenches. I mean, the amount of rain I've never experienced, like I've gotten here uh, in such a short amount of time. So it's not so strange that there's massive floods and everything else, because the, the amount of rainwater, it's just, uh, you can't describe it. But with that said, I had the cough route because I wanted to test how good the seams are, how is it going to pick, hold up in that kind of uh, weather. Four days of constant drenching that flooded out everything. Uh, I had this pitched and it would get about 12 to 15 meters per second wind gusts and it held up well and I didn't have it completely staked out. So it gives me a lot of confidence to know uh, that this tent can survive uh, anything that at least the Swedish mountains can throw at it for the most part. I have my cheat sheet here. It is 280 centimeters long by 280 centimeters wide by 170 high. So as you can hear it's quite a big tent and it is. It's a, um, it's a very big tent actually and I kind of like using it as a solo tent. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah. I haven't tried it with the the half inner yet, which I've ordered. So hopefully I'll get that soon, because I have a, I have a feeling that this is going to be like my uh, my pack rafting tent with the half insert, and then I get my pack raft on one side and all my gear. Yeah, it's quite nice. And then the inner that it comes with is a full inner, weighs 560 grams, and that's a. Uh, 245 centimeters by 245 by 170 high and it's black. Well, that didn't quite give me the information I was looking for because usually on a really light uh, sill nylon on the floor on the on the outer fly it doesn't really matter I mean you can have like 50 as your uh, uh, Hydrostat, I guess is the word for it. Doesn't really matter. Um, but on the floor, that's where it matters because water can seep through. And usually on a lighter sill nylon or most sill nylon, it'll seep through. And that's why they have like that thick kind of uh, rubbery polyurethane, I guess is what it's called, uh, on a lot of the Hillebergs and so on. And that just, I mean, you can pitch it on a lake and it's not gonna seep through the bottom. But a lot of the lighter tents, they allow that kind of seep through the bottom. And, uh, but this one, uh, I've put pitched in some pretty wet situations and so far it hasn't seeped through. I've got it pitched really high right now. It's pitched at 190. I mean, that's as high as I am. Huh. Which, is what I really like about pyramid shelters to begin with, is that I can kind of pitch it however I need it. Like right now it's not the worst weather, so I don't need to have it really tight on the ground. So I've got it quite big openings underneath. I'll take that off and show. Yeah, so you can see that here. I've got that pitched. I've got these stretched out quite a bit. 
and that's just to give it air, a lot more air underneath. You can see the Kafra just has so many tie outs. It's got the nine at the bottom and it's got these probably about nine up here as well. And this comes complete with all of these. It's a really thick uh, X pack, I think that's what it, that is. And it's got all the right supports in all the right places. So everywhere that you're going to have a lot of pressure on this tent, it has that X pack up there. You can't really see it now, but let's see on the inside down here, for example. Got it right there, and can't really see it, but up there you'll have it as well on both the outer and inner. You've got these two big vents that do what they're supposed to do. Nothing strange about that. <clears throat> You can see it's kind of how we had it last night. I was on one side, Alexander was on the other, and we had our sleeping pads and sleeping bags and everything else in there. Yeah, I mean, how's that turning out? Yeah, for reference, I'm 190 centimeters long, about 6'3", and weigh about 93, 94 kilos, somewhere around there. All muscle, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> you can see it's a very large, large tent. So, and I choose to sleep like this, but you can just as well have two people sleep like this. See, it's exactly the same width as it is. And, you know, that's quite good. Like, uh, on the dual mid, you have that where you're laying on the inside so you're not as affected by the rain. And you can do that on this as well. But what I normally do when it's raining is I'll pitch I'll have this staked down and I'll sleep on this side here and then this side will be the side that I get in and out on. Um, I just like sleeping with my feet towards the door. Wrong. Is it as good as something like the Ultimid? No, it can't be because it's using a different kind of material. I mean the Ultimid's going to last a, a lifetime just because the Dyneema is such a strong uh, a material and you can use it year round. So you are, you're paying twice as much for just the outer, but you're also getting a tent that's gonna last a lifetime. Will this last a lifetime? Probably for most people that don't hike more than say a week or two a year. Um, for me, that's maybe out a hundred nights a year or hiking more than that. Um, this, I don't know, I, I've only had it out for about 30 nights now. And so far it's holding up quite well. Uh, but I don't dare give a review of it yet. I'll do that at a later point. I just kind of wanted to show the, the tent and what could be interesting for most people and what you get with the package. So what you get, of course, is this huge inner tent as well. And it has a T opening. Now, actually last night and many nights, if it's a clear night, uh, I'll sleep with these doors completely open and I'll just have the mesh down. Uh, now here, uh, I mean, if it was in the fall in Sweden, then I wouldn't even have the mesh on the inside because there wouldn't be any midges or bugs that could kill you. But here in Africa, it's probably a good idea to try and avoid malaria could be so yeah now I'm showing it with the inner but 
like for me most of the time I'll use it actually without the inner just because I uh, yeah I like it without so anyway I hope that helps a little bit I hope you've got a chance to see the Kofra um, yeah I mean you can see this is just a big roomy tent so if you're looking for a good two to four man tent uh, and you're willing to pay a little bit more but not as much as for something like an ultimate but you still want the same amount of comfort and quality then I would definitely check out the Kofra.